You want to have a healthy sexual experience? These three C's have got to be met. Number one, confidence. In order to enjoy healthy intimacy, both partners need to be confident in themselves and not to be insecure. Most of the time, these insecurities are self-induced. By this, I mean, for example, that the woman might be too conscious of her body and feel that her husband will not find her attractive. And so a lot of times a woman will not want to take her clothes off or will insist the lights are turned off or will want to be under the blankets and not display her body. She needs to realize that if she, if she is feeling this insecure, how does she expect her husband to enjoy her? She needs to overcome those insecurities. Conversely, a husband might have made a passing comment about maybe a few pounds overweight or whatever. And the husband doesn't even realize how insensitive, how scarring such a comment might be. Therefore, husbands need to be careful as well about any type of comments because a woman in particular, a woman, is very self-conscious about her image and about her body. And a lot of times a woman will simply not feel the confidence that is required. So... If a woman is always thinking, am I too fat here? Is there too much weight here? Is my this, that? Is my that, this? How can she enjoy the act? She's always worried about what the husband is thinking of her organs and her body. How is she going to enjoy the act? She needs to regain that confidence. And if she needs her husband's help, the husband needs to step in here. And as I said, one of the most important gentlemanly things to do for a husband is to always praise his wife and to always remark how attractive she looks, how sexy she looks, how much arousing she is. It's an essential requirement. It's a daily routine. It's not something that you say once a year. It's got to be incorporated into your life. Husbands, if you like the way your wife looks, say it. Show it. That's an important aspect of marriage and it will boost your wife's uh, confidence. And therefore, if there are any issues about confidence, and if I'm talking about women here in particular, but sometimes it's the male side, Therefore, if there are any issues of confidence, and of course, again, I reiterate, usually it's from the side of the woman, sometimes it's from the side of the man. If there are any issues of confidence, they need to be resolved. If the woman is imagining that the husband doesn't like the way she looks, but he's never said anything, and he's never done anything, then in this case, she really needs to work on this to be more confident and assertive. If she's always double-guessing how she looks, how is she going to enjoy the act of intimacy?